By the time you come to create your results page, uh, you'll have entered your categories if you're using them um, and your questions. Then if you select results, um, you will notice that you have a default results page in your list. So we can either click to add it that. Alternatively, you could add results page. Um, if there's a template that you like and you want to use that as the body, then select one and save one of those templates. You could also start without a template and then all of the different section types um, would be available for you to select from. On this occasion, I'm going to edit the default version that's in my list. So I'm going to click to open it. I'm going to work through the sections that are here. So we've got the header. Um, and that will enable me to um, add my logo. And you can either um, select that from your files or if it's already in your images, um, you can choose and select it. Now, again, each section type offers different formatting options. So if I wanted to change that section background color, I could. Um, so just work through those options um, and see if you want to do any further um, adjusting. The next section type is the donut chart. Um, so I could have a look firstly to see if there's any other um, ways I prefer to display the overall score. So if I go to add a section, um, I can look, click on overall score, um, and these are the different um, ways you can present it. So percentages, pie charts, spider diagrams, and a speed dial. So I'm just going to actually remain uh, with that version that I've got. Now I'm going to select it. It's called the donut chart. Um, and I would like to tailor the content um, that, I, that I give to people based on how they scored overall. So I'm going to slide that dynamic content button on. Um, and then that allows me to enter different versions of content for each score tier. So I could say, congratulations. Um, you've scored highly. Uh, I can save that. Um, I might put some further information, um, you know, about that's excellent, you know, where you go from here. I might want to send people towards the category scores below. Um, I might want to sort of introduce how we can help. Um, so you could put any of that style of content in here. Um, you can also then enter your content medium and enter your content for high. Um, the next section that we tend to include would be the category scores. So again, I might want to just see if there's a different way um, I'd like to present those category scores. Um, and if you would like to add any of the other section types, you just go to add section. Um, that will drop down to the bottom of your list then and then you can just click on the six gray dots to drag and drop it into position so if i did want to use that one um, i could then just switch off um, the previous category score design that we were using so now i need to go through and and complete the content for each of the categories so your categories if you're using them will be listed so you can click on it and again, you can enable that dynamic content um, and create three different versions. Um, so in when you get down to the categories, um, it will enable you to put a little bit more detail um, should you wish to. So you could acknowledge their score. Um, don't worry if your score's low. Uh, your score's looking good, but it, it might need a bit of work. Or congratulations, you've scored really well. Um, you could put describe the category. Um, you could describe best practice, you could give people tailored advice based on whether they scored um, low, medium, high. Um, so you just give them a little bit of insight and a little bit of food um, for thought um, is best practice when it comes to creating those category descriptions. So now I've got my overall score and I've got my category score. I've got my feedback, got my advice in there. Um, and I want to add a call to action section. So there's again, different ways you could have a double call to action and you could stack them on top of each other. So it's just selecting the one that works for your um, scorecard. I'm gonna select this one and then um, I can go through the options here. So update the content um, and I can paste in if I wanted to offer a discovery call, I could paste in my Calendly link 
um, and that would link then directly to my diary. It may be that on this page you want to add further content, which you absolutely can. So you go to add a section. And if you want to add any content such as, you know, who we are, what we offer, um, videos, um, you can just add those sections, move them around by clicking on the six grey dots. So once you've done that, you would just click on save. Um, and then your results page is ready. Again, you can have um, as many different versions in your list, but it's the one that's published and made default um, that will be connected to your scorecard.